Welcome back to my channel everyone. I did a little bit of shopping this weekend and just went crazy online on Amazon and bought my daughter a couple of gifts, little gadgets. So I wanted to share those with you. Uh, we'll start off with this. I got her a Mega Blocks. This I actually got a really good deal on. So I was going to actually get the girls version which had 80 pieces but I figured it doesn't matter the quantity they have just because they throw them over every place, especially at this age. So I decided to go with the 40 piece and this is for ages 1 through 5. It's a neutral, it's not a girl or boy. That one actually came in a bag and um, we haven't opened this yet. So, but I just wanted to share that with you and I will do an update, let you know how she's liking it. But for right now, this is what I got and we'll see how it works. Secondly, I bought um, some magnetic drawing pad and we were out for lunch with a couple of our friends and they have twin daughters and they actually bought this for their daughters and their daughters loved it. So when I was talking to my friend, she actually told me that it works great because her, one of her twins eats the crayons. And to avoid that, she decided this was the best place or best way they can actually learn to draw, develop their motor skills, and play with something, a writing skill, or develop something that they can fiddle around with. And that's exactly the same problem I have with my daughter. She loves crayons. I, they must taste good or something, I don't know, but she loves them. So usually when we go to restaurants, I tell them not to give me the children's crayon and, and drawing sheet. But I love this and I haven't used it yet, but it does come in four different colors, the, the drawing pad itself. So when you're drawing, they actually can draw in different colors and see how that looks. Uh, really excited about this one. Um, this is just called Learn to Draw and Write. We haven't opened this either, as you can tell, but um, it comes with the stencil and it does have two um, stampers that you can stamp around with and play with that. So it is ages three and up, but we'll see how it works. So I think it's because of the magnet, so, or the, the, stamps so we'll see how it works because I'll just have to sit there and monitor it with her. Then um, I went ahead and bought this. I'm not too sure how this is going to work out but it's a baby's tablet. The screen is static. It doesn't change. It just has buttons on it that you press and it kind of lights up. I'm not sure if you can see but around of it it lights up and it's supposed to keep kids engaged the review said they don't keep the kids aren't engaged for too long, um, but a little bit is nice, and that's what we're gonna do. And it has three stages, so one, two, and three. And I think what it does is A for apple, and then stage two A goes a little further up, and then stage three goes up. So what well, says stay, level one explore first words and sounds spark baby's curiosity. Level two encourage. Prompt baby through questions and simple directions. And then level three, pretend, imaginative fun and early role play. So it teaches them letters and the alphabet, first words, objects, and colors. This is from 12 to 36 months. So I guess we'll see how it works for her. And if it doesn't keep her busy, oh well. Then I got her two books. Um, I got her. It's not a really big book, but it's the first hundred words, Parents Guide, and it's a very colorful book and just lists everything, the colors, different cars, baby stuff, and things like that, so I thought it was really interesting. We'll see how that works out as well. She has her mood swings where she's all about books one day, and one day she's just like, nah, flip, 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 the end. And then we're trying to do a bedtime routine where I read her a book every night. And right now we have a um, 1 through 10 book that I've, it, it works out pretty well. She reads that. We, we read that to her and she falls asleep. But got this book specifically. It's called The Going to Bed Book. 
and this series it's um, by Sandra Boynton and she's got a couple of different books uh, they're listed on the back and it's just Mu Ba La La which I guess is animals the A to Z opposites the going to bed blue hat green hat doggies are you a cow horns to toes but not hippopotamus and happy hippo angry duck and doggies I'm sorry so they're, they're called board books so basically I wanted this to be her routine so she knows when I read this to her it's time to go to bed we'll see how that works so far it's working great but we're gonna transition so probably do that book one week this book another week go back and forth until we're doing pretty good with that so that was a little haul that I got for her for just to go out and most of this I got another bag I'm gonna do a, a video on that once I get it I haven't gotten it yet but I got her a book bag that she can actually wear and, and put these little toys in and when we go out it's her book bag so she, she kind of knows that everything she wants is going to be in that bag not her diaper bag but in her bag and we'll see how that works so I'll do an update whenever I can bye for now this is our favorite family recipe for fresh juice uh, just wanted to share the recipe put it out there go ahead and try it out if you like it <laughs>